Workshop 5 Feather Touch for Drawing and Painting A long time ago people um, used to use feathers um, as a writing instrument. Um, nowadays we use the biro which is also very nice to draw with but I decided having found quite a few feathers in the garden that I would try using one as my own drawing um, instrument. So I've cut a very small piece off the end just to open the end up like a reservoir and I've mixed up some very thin acrylic paint. I'm going to see what I can do with it. Now I've done my signature here using this pen and just for fun I've used dipped it into the ink and actually drawn a feather with it and I actually quite like the fine lines I can get and also the thick lines by pressing a bit harder. It's quite a nice um, instrument to use because it's very flexible. Right, I'm just going to um, show you how I can draw this beautiful pheasant feather using this quill. So I'm drawing the lines quite steadily and I do have to fill the reservoir up quite regularly but it is giving me some quite nice fine lines here and if I press harder I get more ink coming out. Makes a very nice squeaky noise as well. Right, I'm just I've just noticed these little feathery bits down here, so I'm going to see how how I can do these. Because they're a bit more uh, fluffy than the other bits. Just draw them very quickly and loosely, it seems to get the effect. And not too much ink either, just a very small amount of ink. Works quite nicely. Right, this is coming on quite well, but you know, it is getting. Uh, a little bit boring. I think perhaps I need to go on something new and come back to this later. So let's try something new with this feather. Right. So this time I've got a few feathers here but I'm going to do experiment with this one to start with because it's got lots of feathery bits that have Obviously it's got wet and it's uh, quite untidy looking, not like the others. And what I'm going to do now is use this end to paint with. So I'm going to dip it into my ink. Wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm going to see what sort of marks that I can make with it. I quite like the effects, they'd be quite hard to do with a normal paint paintbrush. You don't have too much paint or ink on the feather. I'm just imagining now that this could be a cockerel's tail and if you use a single stroke for each feather you do get quite a nice effect and I also think it's a very good idea to stand while you're doing this so you can use the whole length of your arm all the time rather than be squashed up at the table. This would look very nice if it was colourful. If you use colours you could keep on building up areas like this over the top of one another and get quite an amazing effect. Right, I've just thought I'd like to try an experiment and um, use this feather to dip into two colours at the same time and get the feather effect. So I'm going to dip into the yellow first. 
so that I've got quite a lot of yellow on the feather. And then I'm going to dip it into the red, but not fill up the feather too much. Then I'm going to see what effect I get. That is very nice. If I used lots of different colours, I'll perhaps keep brushing it. I could build that up when it's a bit drier. I could build it up with some greens and blues as well over the top. So, really, this feather actually has turned out to be an extremely good brush. <laughs> 